Hello, I'm Mary Bruce from Churchman's Farm at Faversham in Kent and I'm going to talk to you about keeping chickens. It is important to keep your, keep your chicken coop in good condition and keep a good eye on it and that way it will last you for years, especially if it's a wooden one. Um, it is important perhaps if you can to buy one that's had tannalised timber and then that will withstand the elements much better than perhaps a, um, a cheaper version. But they're all, um, it is important that you perhaps um, treat them with cuprinol in the autumn um, before the wet weather and I would suggest then that the chickens are, if possible, it's not always possible to keep the chickens away from them for a day or two from the cuprinol. Well, they would be on the outside anyway, but just, just to make sure that um, they're not breathing any fumes. And you would just give a coat, a, a weatherproofing coat all over. The other thing that is important to um, keep an eye on the wire, make sure that no animals have tried to force their way in. Probably down the bottom they might have tried to um, pull the wire away from the wood. Every day just walk around your chicken coop anyway, just to make sure that nobody's trying to get in when you weren't looking. And the other thing I would suggest also is, if possible, perhaps put the whole frame um, on, especially in the winter, not so much in the summer, but perhaps you might like to put it on a, a hard base of some sort, um, even if it's just a long line, something along the back, even if it's just a bit of plastic, to stop the, the wet getting up into the wood. Because if you can see here, this, this wood here has got quite wet. Um, and with another few months of winter weather, that's going to start to affect the wood. So having given it a coat of cuprinol, perhaps only after once your um, hut is perhaps a year old or more, you wouldn't need to do it beforehand. I would certainly suggest putting that either onto hard sanding area or, as I say, some plastic underneath just to stop the damp coming up from the ground underneath. And then, of course, check that your um, pop hole is working properly and the screws are in place. It can't drop down during the day and shut them out at night so they can't get back to bed. Um, and that your ladder is in good condition and just keep a really good eye on it. And of course, then you're going to be checking for mites as well in, in the wood and keep it a good scrub. But I would say, don't um, give it a good spring clean, as it were, in the winter, at the beginning of the winter, and make it all damp inside, because chickens are very prone to respiratory diseases, and you certainly don't want to find that they've got to go up to bed in the evening and the inside of your hut is still damp from where you've cleaned it out in the day. So I would suggest in the winter that you don't use um, any wet products inside your hut, unless you know that you can really get them very nice and dry before they go to bed. And that's how to maintain chicken coops. <laughs>